Hello and welcome to this week's Australian Olympic Team Wrap, coming to you from the AIS in Canberra, where 90 athletes have had the chance to hear from five-time Olympian Nat Cook and chef de mission Kitty Chiller. The uh, session was really good, heaps of fun, um, very inspiring actually. Um, and it's just exciting to see um, what people have been through in previous Olympics and um, if I get to go, it'd be um, something that I'll remember for the rest of my life. Australian race walker Jared Tallant looks set to be finally awarded the 50 kilometre walk gold medal from the London Olympic Games, with the Court of Arbitration for Sport disqualifying the result of Russian Sergei Kadapkin from the London Olympics, where he crossed the line first. Tallant, who has already been selected for Rio 2016, his third Australian Olympic team, should be able to call himself the defending Olympic champion when he arrives in Brazil. Melissa Tapper is said to make history as the first Australian athlete to compete in an Olympics and a Paralympics after winning her way through qualifying at the Oceania qualifiers in Bendigo. 26-year-old Tapper will be nominated to the Australian Olympic Committee by Table Tennis Australia to fill one of two singles positions at Rio. The second singles position in women's will be filled by Zhang Fang Lei, who will compete at a record equaling fifth Olympics. Four years after narrowly missing qualification for the London Olympics, David Powell is said to go to his first Games this year after he and Chinese-born Chris Yan won the single selection positions. To BMX and London Olympian, former world champion Caroline Buchanan has fired the first warning shot on the road to Rio by winning round one of the UCI BMX Supercross World Cup in Argentina. After finishing second by four one hundredths of a second in the time trial, 25-year-old Buchanan returned to the track to lead every single lap contested from the motos to final. To golf and Jason Day is let back to world number one, winning the World Golf Championships match play in Texas to continue his rip-roaring stretch in the United States. Day matched Adam Scott's feat of winning back-to-back -back tournaments on the US PGA Tour, remarkably giving Australia four wins in five weeks. And that's it for this week. Stay up to date at olympics.com.au and come with us on the journey to Rio 2016.